The San Diego State Aztecs head to the national championship game after that buzzer beater for the win yesterday. Yeah, ca crowds across San Diego went crazy as the seconds counted down on the clock. Check out the scene at Viejas Arena. Oh my God, we did it. In the last few seconds, I was like, it's not going to happen. But we did it. And that's the watch party. The Aztecs clawed their way back into the Final Four thriller, beating Florida Atlantic by one point with that buzzer beater. Wow. And today the Aztecs held their final practice as they gear up for the national championship game tomorrow. Such a wild rider. Julian Delgadio once again joins us live from Houston, where he's been catching up with the coach and players. Hey, Julian. Hey, and yeah, listen, that sound is never going to get old. The swoosh, the Lamont Butler send off into a national championship. I mean, I can't believe San Diego State is playing for a title come tomorrow. Uh, talking to Brian Dutcher, actually, a lot of people questioned uh, why he didn't call a timeout. He called that a broken floor situation, and he said that he had the best chance of San Diego making a bucket in a transitional po moment like that. And, of course, we all know what happened, Lamont burying that basket. Uh, we caught up with the guys, though, less than 24 hours after making the biggest shot in San Diego sports history. Well, if it was win the title, it might be one of the greatest ever. You know, what an incredible shot. I mean, it put us in the championship game, but at the end of the day, people are going to talk about who won the national championship. They'll, and people in San Diego will always remember Lamont's shot. But if we win a title, then they're really going to remember that shot. So it all depends on what happens tomorrow night, how it will be remembered uh, through history. It still feels amazing, still unbelievable that we're in this position, um, but our focus on uh, winning the national championship. So, um, I mean, we celebrated last night, but, but we're back focused and uh, we're going to get it done. He's somebody that's just so, you know, humble and, you know, he doesn't boast. You know, after hitting the game when he shot, you know, you won't even hear him talk about it. You know, that's the type of dude he is. And, you know, for all everything he's been through on and off the court, you know, I'm really happy. And, you know, this is something he deserves. And, yeah, it just speaks to his character on who he is and all the work he's put in to, you know, step up in a moment like that. Have you been able to watch anything that UConn's done? And uh, what do you guys do well that can stop, you know, the train that they are? Yeah, um, we watched a little bit of UConn earlier today. Um, really good in transition. They have some, some really big dudes that, that get out and run. Um, they're, they're really good inside. They have some, some really good shooters. So it's going to be a tough, a, a tough battle against them. Uh, I feel like our defense will be able to neutralize some of that. Um, but on the other day, we're just going to have to go make plays and hit big-time shots. And listen, the UConn Huskies are legit. They have three players that will likely be in the NBA next season. Uh, they have been blowing teams out by a clip of 20 points or more in this NCAA tournament. They are 4-0 all-time in national championship games, and uh, they are the heavy favorite. That being said, San Diego State has not been the favorite at all this entire tournament. They love playing with the chip on their shoulder. Uh, maybe that chip will play into the national title game, and maybe San Diego will be flying back with uh, some really nice new hardware come Tuesday morning. All right, well, Julie, you mentioned the chip, but how do you think this group of guys responds after not only winning yesterday, but how they won, hitting that emotional high and then having to bring it back down, concentrate, go against a really tough team like Connecticut? You know, they're really experienced. In fact, I think that they this team on paper is older than three or four NBA teams right now. So when you think about these guys, they've never been in this situation, but they've played a lot of basketball in their career and a lot of college basketball. And I think that that experience will play into tomorrow's game. It might be closer than a lot of fans expect. In fact, UConn's head coach Hurley was saying earlier today that uh, – you know, everybody thinking that UConn's going to blow them out, that is highly unlikely. San Diego State's here for a reason. Defense travels, as they say, and this defense has traveled very well throughout the NCAA tournament. Want to add uh, one more thing. San Diego State is a five seed. No five seed has ever gone on to win the NCAA tournament, so San Diego State playing for that history as well. Uh, I can't believe it, guys. National championship, even to get this far, pretty remarkable and uh, Let's go win the whole thing. Why well, not? Certainly uh, the yeah. entire city here and county here in San Diego is cheering for them all. I'm amazed every time we hear them. They're so young and they're so poised and so confident in the way that they speak. And to be on this level of a spotlight and the pressure, did they talk about the pressure that they feel um, at this monumental moment? 
Yeah, you know, they don't feel any pressure because I think that they felt counted out so far, so they're just kind of playing with house money at this point. Nobody thought they'd be in a national championship in Houston. Nobody thought they would even get past Alabama in the Sweet 16, so they think that they've already accomplished, you know, more than what they set out for, and to win a national title uh, would just be the cherry on top. A lot of these seniors saying that even though this will be the final game of their college career, they wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Win, lose, uh, I guess we'll see.